Mel, thank you so much. And Dave Ricks, thanks for joining us. Of course, you guys are working in the COVID-19 space yourselves, and I want to ask you about that. But let's start with the news of the day, which is your investment, along with 20 other pharmaceutical companies, of a billion dollars in combating antibiotic resistance, a problem that you say has the potential to dwarf COVID-19 in terms of death and economic costs. Tell us about this problem and, and why we don't have new antibiotics. Yeah, thanks, Meg, for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here and an exciting day for conquering a, a, a potential another pandemic, which is slowly developing. COVID-19 came suddenly. This one has been developing for some time. And so we know what we need to do, which is to develop new antibiotics to overcome antimicrobial resistance. That's what AMR stands for in the AMR Action Fund. Um, of course, uh, antibiotics are the are really the backbone of the modern healthcare system, kind of the the mortar that's holding the whole thing together. Uh, procedures from root canal to open heart surgery to cancer care cannot happen without effective antibiotics. And unfortunately, the bugs are mutating. They're mutating at a steady rate. And every year, more and more deaths occur in the United States. Last year, 30,000 people died from uh, resistant bugs. So we know the problem. It's estimated by 2050, as many as uh, 10 million people globally could die per year from antimicrobial resistant um, bacteria. So this fund is a is billion dollars, 20 plus companies designed to really fund clinical stage biotechs and uh, move the pipeline uh, in the absence of, of uh, what has been a public response uh, to keep uh, this, this uh, viable segment of our, our, um, of our armamentarium. So uh, we're excited to announce this today with so many other companies. Right. Well, I, I guess part of the goal here that you're announcing is to bring at least two to four new antibiotics to market by 2030. You know, looking at the progress that the industry has made in such short a period of time for COVID-19, is two to four antibiotics in the next nine years a bit of a modest goal, would you say? Well, maybe. Uh, we'd be excited if we could do more than that. We're using the historic success rate um, for new uh, antibiotics. And here, Meg, it's important, this fund will invest in clinical trial, clinical stage assets. Carbex and other initiatives are funding early stage research and have had some success with new modalities, some of which we're using in this pandemic, um, whether those be cell or other um, uh, uh, antibody technologies, et cetera. So um, those are coming forward. This fund will fund them and we're using the historic uh, failure rates uh, in antibiotics to get to the two to four number. If we had more, of course, the funnel would have been very successful and we'd be happy uh, to, to have that situation.